Okay, what we're going to have a look at now is how we can assemble these two things. So if you remember, these are both, as you see at the bottom there, IPT files, which stands for Inventor Part Files. I'm now going to go and I'm going to create something new. And this time I'm going to choose what's called a um, an assembly file. Now over here again we've got lots of choices of what we want to do. We just want to go for a standard millimeter, this one here, standard millimeter um, assembly file. So now it says IAM and the AM stands for assembly. So I'm going to choose that one and hit create. And it's going to open up a new file for me. Now at the moment there's nothing in there, it's completely blank. The only difference is that over here in the browser model window um, it looks slightly different. But again these are the standard things that it gives you. You don't need to worry about them. What we need to do now is we need to add our various um, components and I'm going to click on here and choose um, place and I'm going to choose the first one which was the bottle 5 and open it and that's going to be placed in there by clicking once once I've clicked it, I'm going to. Um, it, it gives me the opportunity to put more copies if I want. I don't want to, so I'm just going to right mouse click and I'm going to say OK, and I've got rid of that. OK, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my second part. So I, I could actually change the way this was set up by make it stand upright or whatever by changing my um, view cube, but I'm not going to bother for now. I'm just going to bring in the second one, and the second piece is called the lofted lid. I, oh, no, I didn't. I called it lid five. That was the one we just played with, and open that one. There's my lid. I'm going to just place it somewhere over here. Same thing. I don't want a second one, so I right click and just tick OK. I want to put this lid onto this bottle now by assembling them. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to use this thing called Constrain. I'm going to click on Constrain, and in Constrain, there's lots of things I can change. I don't actually need to change much of anything. All I need to know is it's saying Selection 1 and Selection 2. So what's the first thing that I want to select and what's the second thing? doesn't really matter which order. I'm going to choose this one as the first. So you can see I want to make sure I get the right part of it. I don't want to try and join the screw thread of this one to my writing or something. It has to go on the screw thread. So I'm going to choose the screw thread here. And then I'm going to choose for my second one this screw thread here. And watch what happens. Okay, it pops the two together. You even hear the noise of that happening. Now that it's done that, I'm going to click OK. And now at this point, I'm going to use my shift and hold and I'm moving my um, thing around to get it into the correct sort of isometric view for myself. I do it like that so I can see a little bit of both bits. And I'm just going to zoom slightly out. Um, that will probably do. And I'm going to set that as my home view now. So I'm going to say set current view as home fit to view. So whenever I click here, it will come back to that position. If I now look at the front view of it, there's my object and there's the screw thread. Now what I should be able to do is if I've done this correctly, if I want to, I can actually put the screw thread so it looks like the thing's completely done. Or I can actually slide it up and move it off so that it looks like it's floating in air about to be screwed on. Now that's useful for when I actually want to do um, any of my um, drawings in a little while. Uh, the other thing I've noticed is that I'm, I can't see my writing because I'm on an angle. Let's go back to the isometric view and we'll see if I can see. There we go. So there's my, my lid is floating, ready to be screwed on, and there's the, um, the bottle writing embossed on the front screen there. If at any point I want to change this assembly, all I do is change these pictures. So if I changed anything on my part, it would automatically update in my assembly drawing, providing I've saved my assembly drawing. So that's what I'm going to do now before I finish. I'm just going to save this assembly, and I'm just going to call this one... Um, bottle assembly 5, so I keep all the numbers the same so I know which bits go with which one. And hit save. So now I've got a bottle part 5, a lid part 5 and a bottle assembly part 5.